When you think of college athletes, what do you imagine? Typically, we all think of the glory and excitement of watching a college football or soccer game and how impressive and envious we are of those talented players. But what isn't talked about enough or brought to our attention is the mental health of these star athletes and how their sport can negatively be impacting their mental health. From six days a week of practice with meetings and workouts, athletes are constantly exerting their body to the fullest capacity to train it and to make it grow stronger, and all while being a full-time student at a university and the workload that comes with that. Life can be very overwhelming and stressful for these athletes. It can take a toll on your body and your mind how draining this lifestyle is and not enough voices has stood up to this issue. Athletes do not receive the proper support system and conformity as other college students and there needs to be greater attention to how we are treating these athletes. So I'm Natalie Meyer. I went to Archbishop Mitty in California and I also went to Sonoma State in California as well. And the sport that I played was soccer. I guess I started playing soccer when I was four and um, yeah ever since I was four um, I guess I want to say I joined a competitive league when I was about eight or nine and then ever since then um, it got really competitive and eventually I went to a private Catholic school to continue my career with soccer hopefully to uh, get into college I would say I played from four to 18 so it's approximately 14 plus years and I have terrible back issues I can't even I'm fearful of going back to school just because of my concussions that I've had I have had about probably 10 to 15 so. 10 to 15 concussions in the span of your soccer career exactly yeah so if you spread it out that's at least one per year <laughs> you know just my small experience that I had at Sonoma State they were practicing three times a day and it's just kind of ridiculous the amount of energy they like expect from these girls when you know not only that they have schoolwork to do and like their own passions so um, my parents really instilled in me that soccer was kind of the way to get into college and so just ha kind of growing up with that mindset quitting a sport that um I've played my whole life was really scary for me and not really it kind of just gave me like a loss of identity identity in a sense because you know I've been doing something for so long and that was going to be like my career my path and like my gateway into school and quitting that just because of concussions or an injury it just wasn't really in the a question I'm a really dedicated person but that's for something I'm like really passionate about and when you're constantly getting injured or you know like when things are getting like so competitive, like you lose the fun of it. And so, you know, you have to be really motivated and dedicated to stick through a sport like that. It kind of took a toll on me, especially not being in school and, you know, taking a step back and being, being like, whoa, like I don't have something to fall back on. Like I kind of betted on soccer being my path to school. And I think that was probably my lowest moment. I didn't have the biggest support system, or maybe I did and I just didn't feel comfortable opening up about stuff like that when everyone's kind of like in the same mindset of going to college and playing soccer and if you were the one that wasn't really feeling it anymore, like, I don't know, it's, it, it's, it's just different. And so I guess I kind of felt shy and not really wanting to open up about my feelings because I didn't want them to think like I couldn't handle it or I was, you know, over exaggerating. And so I kind of just closed up in a shell and really like didn't talk about my feelings too much. I didn't feel like I had too many people, especially since like my core family like was a little bit against it. So I think I definitely held it inside. When you you expect someone to devote so much time, like your body goes through so much, not only like your mind, your body goes through so much. and you finish the four years of college if you make it to that level and maybe if that you go pro but there's a very slim chance that that will happen and so I do think it's really toxic the amount of you know energy and effort they expect players to go through just so that they can have a win on their like title or something you know you know people from generations before like my parents they never had that information so they grew up on the mentality of you know suck it up grow it up you know grow up like you know get through it like 
they're on like soul survival mode and so they kind of push that mentality onto us you know you really have to take a step back it's really important to your body your mind and your soul